Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco 1069 passage function sliding door pull. To say that it's a passage function, I, um, I think really just helps differentiate it between the privacy function, which is the 1069L. <clears throat> uh, passage in the sense that really all that this is is just a it's a pull handle is what it is uh, it's a means it's an ADA compliant means of pulling a sliding door or what some people would call a pocket door uh, but a sliding door is what it is so <clears throat> this is the front exposed side and this is uh, the uh, 630 stainless steel finish okay the ends have these black uh, plastic decorative finish points over the solid stainless. This is the back side. <clears throat> this is the portion that gets mortised into the edge of the door. I'm going to put this down for a minute. There's a link below this video to the template. <clears throat> it looks like this. The installation for this, uh, the machining for this is really pretty straightforward. You can see here in this drawing that you're going to accomplish a four inch high, eighth inch deep mortise to the edge of the door all the way through. But then you're going to mortise a one inch wide four inch tall preparation just for this welded on plate. This is the mounting plate actually because you see that you've got three holes drilled there and you can see that those holes are about a quarter inch in diameter but they're not nearly as big on the back side. That's because included with this are what are in essence trim head drywall screws what these are. I don't know what Trimco calls them, but that's what these are. S completely suitable. Through the hole, the fact that it's a trim head will allow it to go all the way through. Okay, Concealed. Here's what it looks like on the inside. So the trim head does not go through this rear plate. Then you've got this plastic cover it's just going to, well, it's not plastic, it's rubber. It's going to push on like that, push it all the way in. And that's what it's going to look like. So your edge of your door is going to have three of those black rubber filler plates. Um, available in different finishes on the website. Okay. No problem there. Stainless steel is by far the most common. Um, you're going to want to consult your uh, local code for the dimension, the vertical height at which to to install this. Um, somewhere between 39 and a half and 40 and a half will be in range uh, with ADA compliance. However, I'm not telling you that that's what it is. You need to determine that. Your local code uh, um, confirming that the other new doors in the facility or possibly existing doors are ADA compliant and making sure that this center line matches the rest so that all of the locks are in a equal or level line of sight. That would be important to do. Uh, but the installation of this is actually quite simple. This gets mortised completely flush with the edge of the door. That's the eighth inch part of the mortise that you're doing there. So if you have any questions on the Trimco 1069L or any other Trimco product, please do feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.